Snow White right now. It is uh, certainly hard to think about Christmas because we are still in October, maybe just for another day or so, but still. Uh, but this morning, a group in effort in Lancaster County is asking you to do just that. Blue Ridge Communications is hosting their annual collection of stockings that will be sent to soldiers overseas. Now, because of the time constraints for shipping, all donations must be received by mid-November, and this year, organizers say they're not getting as many donations as they need uh, so far. They need your help. Fox 43's Linda Weed is live in effort of this morning with why and I guess how folks can help. Linda, good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. And that is exactly why we are here. And you know what? This story actually means a lot to me because I used to work here at Blue Ridge Communications and uh, did help for years on this Stockings for Soldiers campaign. And what it is, is they want donations like this, a pair of socks. You have no idea how much this can mean to one of our military members that cannot actually be home for Christmas. And it's not just socks, it's snacks, it's even movies and DVDs. And here at Blue Ridge, they collect those donations to send them to our military members that, again, cannot be home for Christmas. So we have Cindy here from Blue Ridge Communications. And Cindy, uh, years Blue Ridge has been doing this Stockings for Soldiers campaign. How much does it mean to the soldiers that you have spoken with? I can't even begin to explain in detail or in words what it means to them. I've had so many people coming in that had served that came back and said that they had received a card or they had received a stocking. We told them we're working on the project and they actually broke down in tears. We've actually had some mothers and people that had their young sons and grandsons in, that came in and actually said they received a stocking. They received something from the Keystone military families and it meant so much to them and they shared it with the other men in their unit. And these stockings that you can have here, they are also filled with those snacks and those cards. Um, and you talk about here, you have these donations right in your lobby, but this is not nearly enough. No. No, we're hoping to do 10,000 stockings this year, and they actually, each one has a name of a man or woman soldier overseas that will be getting those. We actually know where they're supposed to be in theory going um, and what platoons and units all around the world are going to be receiving them. So for me to think that we're not going to be able to send some of those stockings to those men and women that are defending our freedom and are serving. I, it just has me upset, and I think that can't be. So it's a yeah, challenge. It is absolutely heartbreaking. It is. Um, so how can someone help? Well, we are collecting now through November 16th here in our office. They can bring any kind of items. We need items, but we also need money for shipping and handling. It costs at least 5 to $7 to ship a stocking. Like, for example, over in Korea, where we've been sending some over the past few years, it's over $7 to ship one stocking. So we actually have some friends that had a son that was deployed over there, and they had requested last year, could you send stockings to their troop? And they did, and they sent us a picture back, and they were just thrilled. And you guys can help to, again, bring the donations here to Blue Ridge Communications in Ephrata. We have a complete list of what they're looking for on our website. That is fox43.com. And again, they are collecting here until November 16th. And they do say a lot of this uh, has to do because of the hurricanes and the need locally for donations for other campaigns that are happening. But they want to make sure you do not forget about our stockings for soldiers here in Ephrata. We're live in Ephrata, Lancaster County. Linda Weed, Fox 43 News.